All right, so rundown. Tuesday, September 5th, brought to you by High Noon. It's time to load up the ice and break out the oversized lawn games because the High Noon Game Day Pack is back. It includes limited edition fan faves. Like, ooh, pear, hell yeah. Pear and cranberry along with black cherry and grapefruit. It's made with real vodka, real juice, 100 calories, gluten-free, no added sugar. High Noon Game Day Pack is a fall exclusive, which means it's here for a good time, not a long time. Much unlike Clemmer. Uh, visit <laughs> highnoonspirits.com before your Wait, next tailgate really good. to find a pack near you. I love pear. Cranberries were really, I had the best past weekend. It was fantastic. Also, I like the black cherry. No one asked me. I like the black cherry. Yeah, no one was asking you that. Yeah. Welcome to the fall, boys. Yes. Let's so, go. The two, two best ones here. Quick. One, John Rich, uh, vaping is now says your testicles will get smaller if you vape. Just letting you know. Um, I don't really care about my testicle size. Yeah, I honestly don't care about my testicle size either. Well, it doesn't have to do with like other things. Like having kids or something? Yeah, I feel yeah, like I it's, I don't that's know. That's a different thing. If it's getting small, that's fine. If I can't I have kids, that I might be I didn't read much into it. I saw it was a headline, and I saw you just smoke. Make the scrotum like, oh, a little more roomier, right? I guess, yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't want a good old roomy scrotum? <laughs> <laughs> the way you moved around, too, I didn't want. I'm pretending I'm going to go to the balls in the scrotum. <laughs> just rolling around. Oh. <laughs> uh, that was disgusting. 90 seconds into the rundown, you're pretending to be a ball in a scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> it's an important thing. That was so off-putting. Uh, what was your other thing? Oh, yeah, two points. I like, I feel like we should start on Tuesdays. I would yeah, like, and end on Wednesday. I mean, <laughs> no, no, no. Tuesday, Tuesday to Thursday, Tuesday Wednesday. through Friday. I like, fr like, I think Friday should be a full day. Like, not like, I think I, I like Monday, like Sunday, Monday would be my weekend. I would love that. So you want to work on Saturdays? I'll work on Saturdays. Uh, uh, all right. No, I, I like the week the way it, it is. seems like a weird hill to die on. Well, because you got to do college football stuff, so you're just trying to move your <laughs> work So, I mean, down. we're working the weekends anyway, but I'm just saying, I don't know. I, how, today, like, oh, when you forget it wasn't Monday, it's kind of nice. Yeah, that's a fun little bonus. I, I, I would love one day a month even that's just like an errands day where it's like it's not a week, it's not the week. But it's also not the weekend, especially because like weekends are now so shortened because of football, where it's like Sundays, I love football, but that's what, that's how I'm spending my Sunday. So my only free day now is going to be, you know, you got Saturday free. What, like yesterday, oh my God, I had such a productive errands day. Incredibly productive errands. Just getting the laundry done, even yeah, like going laundry, to the bank or stuff, if stuff's open. Cleaning. I know Labor Day is not open, but. Yeah, we need, we need some more errands days. All right, college All right. football. Yeah, let's get on to college football sport that is going on. Story of the weekend, Colorado, Deion Sanders debut at Colorado. They upset TCU. Travis Hunter, 144 total snaps, offense, defense, interception, a couple other pass breakups, 11 catches. His son, Sanders, should, is it Shadur? Shador. Shador. Mm -hmm. Shador Sanders, 510 yards, four touchdowns. I just, I, I'm not the biggest college football guy. I, I watched every second of that game, and I think that that's going to be my – my taste of college football this year is I'm going to watch every single Colorado game because they were absolutely electric. So listen, they were. Travis Hunter, we talked about, was the Shohei Otani of college football. Like, we have never seen someone play basically every snap on both sides. One, can he keep it up? I don't know if they want him to because it's so much more injury prone and, like, he's going to go to the NFL. So, like, do you want he's him to He's got two, two years of this. Yeah, two yeah. years of this. Um, I think... I think that Dion had every right to like the way he acted after because everyone said how shitty they were going to be. Yeah. TCU is a national championship. Um, but now it's like there is a lot more eyes on Colorado now. But he also, he's good for the rest of his contract. He has changed Colorado football completely already. Like, remember when he got signed? They said that they, won't, they don't even have the money to pay him yet. And he's like, I'll make sure you do. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. He, has, they, he completely like, their, their home game next year, next week is already like three hundred dollars a ticket. I mean, it was if you thirty dollars before. If you <laughs> ask me to name yeah. a single person who has ever played football at Colorado before this weekend, <laughs> I don't know if I'd be able to. Weren't do they it. good in the nineties? I'm terrible. Cordell Stewart. What? Oh yeah. Cordell Stewart. Cordell Stewart. Stewart. Yeah, like, like random. There's a couple of random like they, but they haven't been very good in a while. They had one win last year. He's already matched last year's like. He, it was the and coolest they could, thing they in the world. Probably win, well, they have a really good chance of winning this week. And yeah, they were plus nine uh, before like it, their spread was. Look ahead nine. line. Yeah. Look ahead before the TCU game, and now they're minus three. Who are they playing? Nebraska. Nebraska. And oh, let me tell Colorado, you something. Right? In Colorado. I love Dion. I love, as a gambler, you got to take Nebraska in this. 
Jack? There's so much hype around Colorado. Like, there's a lot going. And everyone says Nebraska sucks. Like, yeah, they, yeah, they lost. Everyone's like, down in Nebraska, right? It's just a weird spot. Like, I, I listen, I hope Colorado just, like, fucking rips. They have a really hard schedule. Are they? Uh, is there any chance they're, like, did they were, did, the, did the rankings come out this week yet? I'm not sure. If Are they going to be in, like, uh, others receiving they could, they votes? Could make top I said they right? could have made the top 25. Yeah. Yeah, the guys. Really? Yeah, the guys. I thought they were like really, really low. They were. Oh, they were. I mean, sucks. they're minus three and a half. They were. They're over or under was three and a half. But gotcha. uh, I bet they're, they'll at least be in others receiving votes. I'm yeah, sure. I don't think they'll get in. But if they win this week, they will get in. I think. Wow, that'd be something. Yeah, consider me a Colorado fan. Going. I mean, just just absolutely incredible. Travis, like, so do we think the Travis Hunter? I don't know if any of us really know the answer to this, but will he have more value as a full-time corner or a full-time wide receiver? I was thinking about the same thing because he's so shut down at corner, but a le- like 113 yards or whatever he had was insane. As a wide right. receiver, while you're playing corner, I don't know. Could he win the Heisman? Like, because he can yeah. do both? Yeah, he definitely yeah, yeah, can. Yeah. But he's I also. Real, he's like probably the favorite. Been defensive. Or... His odds were plus 8,000 before the game, now they're plus 2,200. He's definitely not the favor because the quarterback's so much yeah. easier to do, like Caleb Williams and Jordan Travis and stuff. But and historically, just, they almost always take quarterbacks. Yeah, and listen, the, the guy who's going to tell him how to take care of his body and all that is Deion Sanders. Like that's a guy who did the same exact thing, but a little less. But like, well, he also played baseball too. No, <laughs> like, no, no I'm saying it was football. crazy. Like, he no, no, but he played baseball at the same time he played football. Yeah. It was just crazy. So I mean, it's cr- the whole thing is crazy. But the thing is, though. Like, I don't, what happens if they go on a losing streak right away? Do people care? Are they going to come after him? Or it's like, oh, yeah, I mean, that, that happens all the time. They'll immediately come after him. But yeah. He didn't help himself by saying, like, uh, no, they'll come, but, but they'll, they'll come at Dion. They won't Dion. come at, like, Travis Hunter. No, no, no. But Dion's the one that was yelling at the media saying, oh, you got to believe in us. Whatever. Yeah. The best part of winning is rubbing in people's face. Yeah, exactly. That's why I don't, and it's also Dion's, like, the most outspoken guy yeah. in the world. He'll do whatever he wants. I, I feel like if, if, he, if he had to, if you were going to do both, I feel like you'd have to, it's easier to be more of a corner and then be like a sometimes wide receiver yeah. for like big plays than it is to be a full-time wide receiver and sometimes. I mean, he corner. was the number one ranked corner cornerback coming in. So like right. he should do corner and then if you throw him in a slot sometimes. It right. Felt so. a, you know, a third and long or whatever. Yeah. Um, next up. Uh, or other college football. Uh, Florida State beats LSU. Yeah, I saw you, you blogging about their quarterback. Yeah, Jordan Travis's trivia question. Clemmer got it. Who was his brother that was in the MLB? De- Devin Travis? Had a boy. Oh. Good job. Who is that? It was a guess, but. So was mine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's 10 to 1 to win the Heisman. They have. No, they'd already beat LSU this week, which already helps him. Their best and Clemson, we just saw it's not that very, not very good. They have like nobody else to play, so he's gonna light it up. So I would take him to win the Heisman. So they're they're like the class of the ACC. Yeah, they they're definitely number number one in the ACC because Clemson you would have thought, and then I mean maybe Duke, but I don't think Duke's gonna keep keep that up and then see how Miami is. Uh, yeah, Duke beats Clemson 28-7. Uh, their quarterback, Riley Leonard, uh, says his mom texts him, you suck, before every game for motivation. I kind of love that. I wrote that blog. It was, yeah, it was more for, like, to keep him grounded, he said. But I was like, how, like, what? <laughs> keep him grounded. You have a friend text you? Why did you have to have a friend like, text you? I was like, I don't know if you know how the internet works. Once you yeah. lose, Riley, <laughs> right. you'll be grounded very fast. Like, you don't need your mom being, your mom's going to be on your side. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like his poor mom, like, probably hates writing that. Yeah, yeah. Every week. I can't believe I got to say like, that. Like, do you think she son. did that, like, uh, hey, go take out the garbage, you suck, and take it <laughs> faster? Like, yeah, maybe. Know. He has, like, a thing on, he has a wristband, too, that he writes, you suck on it. It's like, all right. It seems a little try hard to me. Sometimes it just, I don't know, man. just to tell a lot of people too. I feel yeah, like. this feels, I don't know about the wristband. Now it just feels a little bit like. Hey, he won yeah. and beat the number nine, whatever whatever they were. Yeah. I think they were nine. Um, any Anything else from college football, Marnie? I feel like you would know better than uh, that. No, it was pretty, those were like the only three things that were, everything else. There were no like top 25, inter 25. There were no like top 25 teams facing off, right? Just the uh, LSU. LSU oh yeah, just shows. besides that. Like I meant on Saturday. Like this yeah. week there's going to be uh, what college football show will be at Alabama, Texas, which will be a That'll huge be one. Unbelievable. Um, but yeah, there's definitely there's a lot of good teams this year, but 
this first week was kind of boring. Besides, like if they didn't do that, Colorado, I don't know if anyone would have cared this much about week one. Uh, next up, we got a man ejected from the U.S. Open for yelling, quote, the most famous Hitler phrase during last night's U.S. Open match. I'm not even going to try to say these names. Zeverev and Sinner. Zeverev stopped play to have the judge eject a fan. The quote from Zeverev was, he just said the most famous Hitler phrase there is. Any guesses, Marty? And that leads to the debate. What is the most famous no, Hitler phrase? I, I was thinking, I was not, is it H. Hitler? Has or I mean, there's like Zieg, is that that's the German yeah. way of doing that? I don't know many things because he's a bad man, so I don't look into it. Yeah, yeah. Wait, isn't this the game that, or the match, sorry, that Dave was at? Yeah. So <laughs> imagine it was just Dave getting kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'd be the one. I gotta say, the Hitler guy though has has great seats. They they then they I can see if you notice too, the girlfriend sticks around, and I can see why she stayed. A, yeah. she's dating a, an asshole, and then B, why why would you leave? It's it match. is tough. Where like you're, she's probably like, come on, babe, let's go, and she's like, nah. I can't. You can't be seen leaving with the Hitler guy. No, you can't. <laughs> you gotta you stay know, there and like. You know it's on TV. You know. Yeah. Where, where, I got it. I don't know if the camera ever really picks them up. No, they do. I, I, I saw just what a, what an insane. Because they show, they show they, the guy Why would you yell girl that? Stand there. I mean, really ever, no. but uh, specifically why in the middle of like a, a random U.S. Open match? I don't know what it makes bizarre. no sense. It's just, listen, Hitler is, you shouldn't probably say anything about no. Hitler. Nothing no, good. Do. Nothing good. Yeah. Yeah, it's it doesn't play as a man who uh, compared somebody to it and didn't go over well. No, no, surprisingly. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, Marty. Anyway. <laughs> that was a joke. Um, I'm, let's do a quick transition topic, because I don't know if they'd like that going right into the next ad read. Um, how was everyone's weekend? Good weekend? It was good, it was good. I, good I, Labor Day? I made a mistake. Yeah, Labor Day. Went to the beach on Monday, and it was obviously insanely crowded. Imagine. Ugh, your, your body at the beach. It's great. I fight the waves. It's fun. How much sunscreen do you put on? Put on a little bit. A lot. Yeah, I put on a lot. I don't get, I don't get, I don't, I don't get burned, though. I don't get burned as much as you think I would. Leave the shirt on? If, I, if I'm in the water, I take the shirt off. Nice. When I, I don't want to get sunburned. So when you I, swim? I like to fight the waves. I don't what swim in the ocean. You like to fight the waves. I like they come and I like the waves will crash and I like ah and like this it's fun you know but I don't like swim in the ocean I swim in a pool but you don't the waves are too much to swim in it really. Huh. All right, palate cleanse. <laughs> the next half of the rundown is brought to you by mattress firm. That. Yeah, that's <laughs> even <laughs> worse. And then Every, <laughs> after a big day of fighting waves, I get some nice rest. Yeah. Yeah, everyone needs quality sleep to feel restored and function at their best. And to achieve this, the right mattress matters. Luckily, Mattress Firm is here to help. Their sleep experts receive over 200 hours of sleep training to help match you with the right mattress and bedding accessories for your needs. With their low price guarantee, you can be confident that you'll find your perfect mattress at the best price. And if you're not totis totally satisfied after 120 nights, they'll pair you with a new one. Visit a store near you or go to mattressfirm.com. The right mattress matters. Mattress Mattress Firm will find yours. As a guy who won the most dangerous game show last year and won a free Mattress Firm mattress, I can attest, great night sleeps. They actually, uh, when I used to live with Dana, they came over and gave me the balcony bed. Oh, right. And we used that. That was a comfortable bed. So It was so comfortable. Yeah. So, yeah, Mattress Firm was great. Uh, French soccer team Lion forced to stay on the field and be berated by fans following a loss. They lost 4-1 to There's PSG. There's no way it's called Lion. Lyon? Gotta be right. There's Probably no way. L, L Y O N. It's gotta be Leon. I don't know. We don't have soccer Leon. people. Leon, we'll go Leon. After the game, Leon players were direct. I hope you're wrong. I hope the one time you're trying it's to be smart, yeah. you're wrong. <laughs> Uh, be a soccer they were directed to one of the field and were forced to stand there as the crowd booed and one fan berated them over the loudspeaker. Uh, quotes, you're the ones who wear the jersey. Others before you have worn it glorified it. You don't have the right to tarnish it. There's only one thing we ask. Sing your name. Sing them with love. Not like we sing the names of the little bitch who left our <laughs> club in the last six months. So That's we, awesome. Look, I think, that, I think that fans, there'd be a lot healthier relationship between fans and players, if, if we had this open communication, it was like, hey, you fucking suck. And then maybe you don't get as booed. Well, we do. I think it's called game. Twitter. It's yeah, also, but that's, you know, when the did, trolls. When did Frank the Tank become a Leon fan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, imagine that. You imagine that, that at City yeah. Field. Bogle, he's just screaming at Bogle yeah. back. I gotta be yeah. honest, the reason why we don't have that is because of yes. like Frank. 
Because <laughs> it's like, we, they're like, I, they're probably like, I get paid way too much money to listen to this. <laughs> you know, like, I'm sure a couple of the guys, you know, a couple of those guys did not want to be there at all. Oh, like, yeah. So furious. Look at them. Why? I mean, yeah, you just played soccer for two so hours. I love it. Did the owner make them do it? I don't know. That's unclear. Or the, or the, the I love the, coach or like, I, I think it's amazing. And he also didn't seem like he was that mean about it. It seemed like, like, just have a little more pride with them. Yeah. But the players look like they're very upset. So. Yeah. But they, they look like they're kind of taking it. Like, yeah, they, they look are. like they're like, oh, yeah, we yep. fucked up. Like, I made we'll a good point it. there, yeah. Yeah, I, I love this. Oh, God, I'd love to do this to the Yankees. Oh. <laughs> Who would you guys go after? Boone and Cashman. Mainly Cashman. Yeah. How about players, though? You're dealing with the players. I, I have honestly, I mean, okay. it would have been Josh Donaldson. He's yeah, gone. You guys just keep great. letting Stanton off the hook. It's wild to me. He's a nice guy. I, yeah, but here, here's my thing with Stanton is he, he shows up in the playoffs, and that's something that I, I, he's got, I'm sure he'll do really well this year. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ben Karen. Great joke. Hey, what do you mean? You, you, when your team sucks, you can't talk about the other team. You can talk about other teams. No. And you talk about how Stanton's going to be good in the playoffs. The big reason you're not making the playoffs I didn't playoffs say they're going to Stanton. be good. I said that he's had some big playoff moments. Look, but I also don't blame him. I blame Cashman for trading for him more than I blame Jim Carlo himself. Where we could have had Bryce Harper. But we don't need to talk about the yeah. Yankees right now. Yeah. We could talk about this plane being diverted to, to a passenger's unrelenting diarrhea. <laughs> a Delta Airlines plane was forced to turn around and fly back to Atlanta on Friday night because someone had diarrhea all the way thought throughout the plane, causing a biohazard. The flight was leaving Atlanta, heading to Spain. Oh, oh my no. God. How far did they get? Passengers left the plane. A cleaning crew came out of the plane, scrubbed it down, and flight record showed the plane was used later for a different flight. you got to <laughs> shut that yeah. plane down for months. Can you That's imagine you were the second crew. one? Imagine the cleaning crew, though. You're like, just a regular Wait, he was work. getting it like... Like, it wasn't just in the bathroom? They, Apparently, it was clear. all throughout the plane. Yes. In the aisle. So, Hubs, so I guess just running to the bathroom. Hubs wrote a, a blog about it, and he was saying that he thinks maybe someone trusted the wrong fart and then ran to the bathroom and then, like, left the Yeah, that would, be my, that would be my thinking. That is wild. You are, you're an asshole. You got to know. You got to train your stomach for you're going, especially from Atlanta to Spain. Yeah. You need to know what you're eating the night. You don't, people you're don't think right. about that. You're right, Marty. I think about everything I eat before I go on a plane. Tell us being a good citizen. Like, yes. You know, yeah. like just being a good person. And also, also like, not uncomfortable yourself. Oh, look, so far. Look, they, they did get a, like a little far with it. See the track? Oh. Not that far. Where'd it get to? Uh, Virginia. America. They got to Virginia. So this oh. guy basically. <laughs> All right, it so looks this, like a longer this, line. This guy missed the shit right away. Like, this must have happened right at takeoff because it takes a while to then realize you have to turn around. Right. I, mean, human, like, I think even farts smell a hundred times worse on a plane. Oh, you're can, the can you imagine how much worse fucking diarrhea must smell? People fart like crazy in a plane too because you can't hear it because the plane's so loud. Yeah. People are just farting. Like, I, I'm, I'm a civilized member of society, so I, I don't fart on planes, but there's been a few times, yeah, I've, I've slipped a he fart out. You him far too much on Oh, I, I, he pisses all the time. That's peeing. The time. But there's been times where I farted on a plane before. My God, that smell is You take the aisle seat, right? You yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you, you're always getting over Yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's me being some, self -aware. When you say, when you say relentless, it makes it, <laughs> it does make it a lot funnier. Funny. <laughs> like, relent, like, it means he had no control. How, how does that guy ever, ever, like, did how this person, how does how this person not, how do we not know who it is? I want to talk to him. Like, I had no one take a video of this. But it's, who are you it's more it? mad at? The crazy plane lady from oh, last month? I'm not mad guy? at the crazy plane lady. The diarrhea guy. Oh. I'm not, I'm not mad, mad at her. I think she saw some. Yeah. And I think she's, she, beautiful, and I think she's beautiful and smart. But didn't they have to deboard the plane? Was it like a real pain in the ass those people on They had to deboard this plane. You wouldn't have plane. said that if you were on that plane. I mean, if, what, I got a chance to talk to her? People really just forget about how life works on planes. They forget about yeah. everything. I, it doesn't make any sense. They have, no one has any regard on planes. Don't you want to sit down, shut the fuck up, and go home? I think nine, I think most people don't think there's so many flights that just random shit happens. They're just, yeah, it's just, just so many. Where else are there like hundreds of people stuffed together yeah. in a small? I'll always say it's crazy how flights are always full. Like how are they always? Yeah, how are I, I they do. always okay. going? The fact that there's always someone going from Minnesota to Seattle on a Wednesday on a Tuesday afternoon. at twelve. Why is that? And then months in advance they book in this. Yeah, time. weird, crazy. A uh, pier at the University of Wisconsin collapsed, sending 60 students into the water. 60 students were partying at an old pier in the University of Wisconsin. Pier collapsed, 25 people, minor injuries, one person in the hospital, but injuries not serious. It sounds, the fact that no one's dead and really hurt yeah. sounds like an amazing time. Yeah, I was going to say, if, if I mean, it does suck that about, oh, wow, oh. I was expecting way 
taller of a pier. Yeah, I, you know, this isn't that big of a deal. I, I don't. I mean, I, it's, also, it's, yeah, I, I would have preferred to not be on it. Right. Kind of like their fault. That's a lot of people for a lot of people on a small, on a small pier. I expected it to be like a big one. I just graduated Wisconsin. I've spent a lot of time on this exact pier. Funny oh. story. Shot a student film on it, and a guy came out yelling at us, saying we're not allowed to do so. There's a strict operation with the pier. That guy clearly is losing his job, which made me yeah. feel good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So rude to me. You can't. Sh two people can't shoot a, a movie, but you could exactly. have a hundred people on a pier. Yeah, I mean. It does seem like if you weren't hurt, it seems like a little fun afterwards. Like, oh, we're yeah. on the water. Yeah, yeah. And then, well, look at all the other people on the other piers. Oh, yeah. By the way, what, get off there after yeah, get that. Off they're all the just like sitting on it. Yeah, no, that's just seems unfortunate for them. Yeah. Uh, all right, post show, what do we got? Uh, yeah, we talked about the Dragon Pizza a bunch. The guy was an asshole, Dom of the Year. No one, the show. no one's trying to take more advantage of the opportunity and I respect him for his Dom of the Year. Oh, I, I mean, the fact that he has an album dropping right now is incredible time. Oh my God, he's literally was the star by far too. Imagine the regret that Dragon Pizza guy has though. Like he went out, he instigated that. And like- He's so off his rocker. He's such a wing this, bat, he this, might not even- now. He doesn't see the side yeah. of normal people. So he's like, this is the, I did justice. Yeah. It's like, no you didn't. Like honestly, if his place closes down tomorrow, he'll be like, well, I took a stand. Uh, like for America, like that, like that just broken brain. They had to line brain. out the door though, like the next day, like they're bombed. Let's see how long that was. Probably. Yeah, that that that, that feel like that. Me, that makes sense that that happened like the day after, next couple yeah. days after. But I think like months from now, there's just gonna be people who like are Barstool fans who maybe used to go to Dragon Pizza that are now like, well, I'm not going to Dragon right. Pizza. Right, and yeah. and all those like yeah, and all those people who well, are I was now at the door because it was like such a viral bit that people just, like want to do it for TikTok probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They knew they would. I saw random people getting like millions of views on just putting Dragon Pizza anywhere. Awful name for pizzeria too. Yeah, I would Dragon never think that's pizza? good. You need a vowel to end your pizzeria name. <laughs> yeah. What else do you do? You need a vow. Or if I didn't see that, I'd be like, I don't know, what fucking kind of pizza is that? Uh, Will Compton retires. Uh, John Rich. Uh, You're welcome. Yep. I yeah. think this is crazy that he did this. Why? I would Why? never retire if I was him. I would be like, just try and get on these teams for the last, for as long as he could. He was still getting, like he got an offer last year. I mean, obviously I'm happy for him. It's not something you want to probably do all the time and train. You yeah, do like now train just, all know, the time. Fully focus. Yeah, I'm yeah, no, family's happy. In here. reality, I'm happy for him. But I, I, for myself, I did love for like the end of the year, like Will just like getting offers <laughs> randomly. Like he would have been on the Falcons last year if, if Dave uh, owned Penn, uh, Dave owned Barstool. Oh. Yeah. Like, real. that's would have been cool yeah. to see Will, yeah. like, randomly just play. Do you feel guilty at all, John Rich? You uh, maybe played a part in expediting this, potentially? No, I'm happy for him. Okay. okay. Has, it, has I, he I helped, if anything. Have you guys reached out to each other at all since the retirement? Or since no, we have not. He's pretty much ignored <laughs> <laughs> any, uh, any evidence of that video happening since a couple uh, days after, which is fair. I sent him a nice 30 second voice memo yesterday congratulating him on a hell of a career. I had to send it twice, the audio was bad in the first one. I said, please don't listen to the first one, the audio is bad, but he kept it, so he must have fucking listened. <laughs> you uh, are you, bothering you, this person. You being a voice skip memo. Yeah, why are you doing is, that? I love voice. I'll Did I keep it? I could play it for the people. Sure. Yeah, play it. We want it. Of course, everyone wants to hear, <laughs> everyone wants to hear this. Hey, Will, it's uh, Tommy from work. Sorry about that last voice memo. The auto audio was not good. I think my phone was connected to my speaker. Uh, anyway, just Tommy from work checking in to say congratulations on a hell of a career. Saw that you were hanging him up. Uh, just wanted to say congratulations on nine, really ten fantastic years in the NFL. Uh, excited to have you know fully focused on Barstool now, fully focused on Tommy. Excited to make some more magic together. Hope to see you soon. And uh, seriously, happy fucking Labor Day. Uh, I do not say that lightly. Uh, congratulations, and once again, this has been Tommy from work over at Barstool, where we both work. Do you do anything not as a joke? Uh, what about that was a joke? Do you do anything? Yeah. What about that was a joke? Is there any part of you that's serious? And he responded, ha, 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 ha. I fucking love you. Thanks, boss. So uh, he likes me way more than he likes John Rich. Well, yeah, I mean, everyone here <laughs> more than John Rich. Yeah, I know John Rich's got a low bar. Yeah. yeah, real low bar. Yeah. But yeah, when's the last time you did something that was like, not that wouldn't go back to work if, if or like just anything that you didn't not serious as a, like a, as a human what? being internally <laughs> yeah. when was the last time you actually did something i guess a real human being without having any, any ramifications about work 
I don't know, bro. Oh, sorry. I fucking live, sleep, and die content. I want to make everything part of my life fucking content. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Clemmer. Sorry, I can't go home and shut it down and eat, drink eight ciders every I don't, day. I don't. I, I don't. I also don't need to put on a fake act. Uh, anyway, I, I can just be. I direct can that anger. Uh, direct that anger to the Mean Girl Pod. You you fired off a tweet. Yeah, you pull up Clemmer's tweet. Uh, because they they. Aaron Clemmer's, by the way. They uh, hold on. Wait, just stay on this for a sec. They post this video of them walking through the doors. Uh, caption, sorry, not sorry, on screen caption. When you show up to work Monday, not fired, even though all the stoolies wish you were. Are they here? Are it they is here now? Tuesday. Uh, but some are saying I mean, Kelly Key, corporate Kelly Key. It's late in the uh, day. What is it now? It's 2.03. So. Others are saying possibly in poor taste because we did lay off 100 people on Thursday. They deleted the tweets? Uh, oh, well, well. Wow, you got some fucking love on that, Clem yeah. Dog. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so two thousand likes. Like just that's gonna be a record. Uh, oh my god, for for you. What? What? Okay. <laughs> Meek Phil, you are so Go fucking away. weird. Fuck. <laughs> that's the most comfortable thing at Barstool. What? A domer? No, I mean I. Don't even didn't hear that. Meek Phil just walked over here, tipped his cap, and said, "Congrats on the domer." To 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 climb around. That's a nice world though. I don't want to be part of. Like the Twitter, like. What does that even? Uh, let's ignore that ever happened. I mean, Climber, yeah, that was amazing. Please. <laughs> that was amazing. Um. You no, know, this is just completely uh, tone deaf by them. Um. You know, we laid off hundred people. A lot of. You know, people we like Great here. Great people, yeah. A lot of hardworking people do no fault of their own. Just we changed from being a business that was a, uh, you know, marketing for a casino, you know, for for pen to being a more content-driven, smaller company. And 100 people lost their jobs. Who have bills to pay. It's a really serious thing. And they come in here with big smiles in their face, saying, "When you show up to work Monday, not fired, even though all the stewies wish you were." A, like Tommy, what do you say? It's it is Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's not Monday. B, it's not, it's not funny that people lost their fucking jobs. This isn't a joke. And, uh, you know, if they're here, I'll gladly talk to them about it. It's 2 o'clock. No? All right. Well, uh, and I'll be here until 5, so. <laughs> I mean, you know, there are... You should have, you should have there are, given a later time. There are re- I'll be here later than that. Even. I, I was trying to give him some window. But it's just, it's absolutely wrong. It's really shitty that good people lost their jobs. And they are making light of it. Mean, are the mean girls there? Are they there? Are they here? here. Grab them. I'd love to talk to them. Oh, I don't want to go oh. anywhere near this. I, um, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't expect them to go. <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> well, I want to ask. I want to ask why. Maybe they. Maybe I'm missing something here. I like. I stay out of drama now. It's not I'm, drama. I'm it's just one... doing. It's not drama. It's doing the right. They're thing. not here. They're not here. They're not here. I'm over a year. Clear. They've never said yes to me asking them to be on the rundown. How many times For what it's worth, them? more than twice. <laughs> so those I don't know. So I, I just think, I, I don't know. <laughs> I will say most people here, everyone I've talked to has been really sensitive and caring and I think really upset that we lost some good people. And I know a lot of people have reached out. I've talked to people and I know I've only been here a year, but I know a lot of people have had relationships and stuff. Um, and I think these two just fell short here. And, and maybe they'll apologize. I think they took the tweet down. Maybe they feel bad. They'll talk about it tomorrow maybe. I don't know. But Do you agree with the tweet being deleted? I, I think you got uh, you to leave, leave it up at that point, right? If you if you're that happy, big smile on your face, what do you why do you delete anything? You know, it's it's a, everything's a big I guess it's a big joke. People lost their jobs. I don't know. Um, so yeah, got to do better next time, guys. I don't know, and I'll talk to them about it tomorrow if they if they if they can come in on Wednesday and talk about it. Wow, <laughs> Plummer, the people, the people's champion. I don't know about that, but I don't know. I don't know. It just it, just, it really I saw it really pissed me off. I don't know. Yeah, clearly. Uh, and tonight, uh, Most Dangerous Game Show, 8 p.m. We have a new Please End This at 7 p.m. If you want to watch that on YouTube, new Most Dangerous Game Show tonight at 8 p.m. Uh, should be good. Should be good. It I heard very from Pat show. that there's some good drama. There is a lot. I, I, from the first episode, Dana being too fat is amazing. So good. And then I've heard a lot about this episode. There's so much drama in Phil. Do you want more? You should watch it. I've heard it's, so far, it was fantastic. Yeah, I, I, heard, the first yeah. I heard the drama really, really ramps up, and then, but even that first episode with the stuff with Jackie and Rudy doing like the wink, the eye thing, yeah. I was laughing very hard. It's fantastic. All right, turn right. for that. Good. Wait, what's that? Is... Oh, oh, Meek Phil's oh, got breaking geez. NFL news. So, give, give us a domer, Phil. 
Travis Kelsey ex hyper extended his knee of practice today, so if you have him in fantasy, I would suggest you pick up Noah Gray, their backup. Oh, and wait. Travis Kelsey was Stephen Shea's top pick this year, so just wait, a little that bit is on that. That, that is big news. That, that hyper extended, uh, like, I, I, how bad? That's bad. Oh, is he out? He's out for is he out? Thursday. I don't know. Uncertain. <laughs> He's going. Like but like what a weird at the guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, anything else? Oh, he's uncertain else? for oh. Thursday's game. So that, I mean, that's bad, but like Does if he's questionable for a news. game. That's big news. No, I know, but I'm saying if it's questionable for, I'm saying if you are an owner, like uh, if he's questionable for a game in two days, you have to think it's not that long term. Yeah. yeah. I'm more, but I'm still more. not great. Do you also, have... the cheat, like, you know what? I mean, I don't know if it's going to affect the line, but I already, uh, I yeah. really want to take the Lions. I already jumped on the Chiefs, so I'm really? a little, a little The Chiefs? Now. I think the Chiefs are still great, obviously, but, like, they, they need some more weapons. They did? What? I know. They lost. Who would they lose? They lost Juju. Yeah, who didn't do he much. didn't do much, but I just, That's I think if you, if you got Kelsey another year older. You know who they have? All the Darius, Giants. Tony, Sky Richie Moore. Richie James. <laughs> yeah, I, I, they'll be fine, but I'm just saying, you know, just if Travis Kelsey's out, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It, it, it truly doesn't matter. He will make anyone good. Nobody. Mahomes could, like, Scantling will be the best receiver, like. He wasn't loves. great last year, though. He was on the team last year. That's what, he, that's what no one was good. But he's just so good, he makes everyone else good. Okay, and Kelsey. But so if well, he's yeah. hobbled, that's an issue. Also, Justin Ross is very good. Um, but you got any more gripes with anybody? That's it for right now, yeah. That's it, that's it. All right. I don't usually have rights to people. That that just pissed me off. I think it's pretty fair. Yeah. Oh yeah. I just, I liked hearing it. I like if you have any more, just tell us. It's right now. Okay. All right. Well, see you guys tomorrow.